Hi everybody, this is the Salto Dinosaur Fossil Take Home Craft Kit. Uh, let's take a look what's in your kit. So you've got instructions on how to make salt dough. You make sure at home that you have a three quarter cup measurement tool for the water that you'll need. Uh, you have two cups of flour and a cup of salt. And then we've got for later on, we've got a little skewer tool that you'll use later on. We got two dinosaurs and you'll have paint and a paintbrush which you'll also use later on uh, so first let's get to mixing pour in your flour and pour in your salt and pour in your three quarter of a cup of water and then we'll get to mixing i use my hands because it's just easier that way with the salt dough now, if you find that it's not combining together great, just add a little extra water um, and just to make sure the dough fully combines all together because you should be able to have it just in a ball afterwards, none on the side of the dish. And then you can play around with your dinosaurs on it too while you're mixing. Don't forget to preheat the oven to 200 degrees. It's going to be low and slow to cook the salt dough. Uh, so now divide your dough. So I figured this out later on. Even though the recipe says six, you can make six discs. I would probably try to make eight to ten because mine were way too thick once I, once I made them into discs and they took about four hours to cook, to bake. So uh, yeah, make them a little bit thinner <laughs> than I did. Uh, you can make them into circles. If you have cookie cutters, you can take those, make shapes out of those. Um, just make sure they're, they're really as thin as you can get them because they'll bake faster that way. So once you have your discs, you're going to take your dinosaurs and make your fossils. So you can press in with their feet to make footprint fossils, or you can put them on their sides to make their body fossils. And you just press them into the dough. And then when you pick it up, you'll have the side of the dinosaur in there. Now, some of your dinosaurs might be shaped a little uh, strange, so it's hard to make them flat. So you might just have to rock the dinosaur back and forth across the dough, like I do with this, this one here. Um, and just to make sure you get all of the parts of the stegosaurus, which I'm doing there. And that's what they'll look like with the imprints on them before you bake them. So if you want, you can actually turn these into ornaments. Uh, you can use your skewer to stick a hole through. You might want to stick the skewer through further than I did uh, to make the hole a little bit bigger so it's easier to get the string through. Now it's time to bake them. So they have to be at 200 degrees. I put mine in at first for 45 minutes because that's what the recipe suggested. And then I went and took a break and had some playtime. This is my puppy Riley. <laughs> Once playtime was done, we went to check on our fossils. Uh, they weren't quite done. I had to put them back in for about four hours. Uh, so we took another break, tried on our Halloween costume. All right, so four hours later, they're finally ready. Uh, once you take them out, let them cool down and then you can start decorating them. Uh, once they're cooled down, if they don't feel solid enough, you can put them back in the oven. Uh, so don't forget to decorate. Use lots of paint um, if you want to, or you can leave them as they are. These ones were Riley's favorite. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Hope you enjoyed your salt dough fossils.